All right, good morning, everyone. It's not a question of if, it's going to be a question of when. Watches will surely be implemented sometime today for South Florida. Irma is still a Category 5 system this morning, and the threat for a direct hit continues to increase. Here is the system very well organized that I now, just north of the Dominican Republic, you can see those feeder bands coming across, feeding energy to that center of circulation. Now we do have the highest peak in all of uh, the Caribbean right across the Dominican Republic. Can it kind of weaken this? Well, we're just going to have to wait and see. As far as the forecast cone is concerned, nothing has changed. We don't think anything will change. That's why by the weekend, there is a very good possibility that we will have a Category 4 system on our hands here, either impacting us Saturday night in through Sunday morning or maybe Saturday afternoon in through uh, uh, maybe even earlier Sunday morning. And then making its track all the way up to the north, it could still be a Category 1 system by the time it nears the uh, Carolinas, 85 miles per hour. Here's the close-up cone. It will continue to move away from the Dominican Republic, impacting uh, the uh, Turks and Caicos Island, still as a Category 5 system. And then as it nears South Florida, this is the most important part because overnight, Saturday in through Sunday morning, we're looking at Sunday at 2 a.m., that center of circulation can be as far east as the Bahamas, as far west as Key West. It's a big storm. It doesn't matter if the uh, center is here or here, everyone across the area is going to be impacted. And this is also very strong. Uh, we could be seeing category four, uh, category four winds here of 150 miles per hour. Latest advisory as of 5 a.m. They've come down a little bit since you went to bed last night from 185 down to 180. Now being tracked uh, just north of Punta Cana, about 95 miles away. So Pico Duarte. About 10,000 feet high here in the Caribbean, the largest peak. And as those feeder bands come around, they're going to be kind of blocked. That's going to stop that flow of energy into that uh, center, into the eye. Will it disrupt the flow completely? Could it weaken? Right now, the models are thinking, no, it's not going to happen. It's going to remain strong. What will happen, however, a lot of rain here, that's going to lead to flooding, land, and mudslides. The models, I'm showing you as many as we can find. Boy, they are so tightly packed, so clustered, that it is a very high good chance here that we are going to see an impact across the Bahamas and South Florida sometime over the weekend. We have one good day of a nice weather. Take advantage, prepare. We will get through this if we get a direct hit, but we have to be ready for the storm. We'll have a lot more on this a little bit later on. We'll be right back.